much for choosing Southwest Airlines for your early morning travel needs. Welcome into Las Vegas. Good morning and welcome to Long Beach Airport. Today is my final trip to Vegas this year. Join me on Southwest Airlines 3084 and today's flight experience. I have no bags to check this morning and with my boarding pass in hand, let's head to the gate. This morning TSA pre-check is open and from being dropped off to pass TSA security took about 10 minutes. This is the joys of flying out of Long Beach Airport. As you can see, Christmas time is almost here and the airport is getting ready for the holidays. Here's a nice close-up of the plane. Today I'm flying one of Southwest's newest planes. This is a 7-month-old Boeing 737 MAX 8. It's registered November 8757 Lima in the Hart livery. It entered service with Southwest on May 11, 2022 and arrived from Sacramento as flight 3084, continuing to Vegas. Today's flight departs at gate 5, and group A is already lined up as you can see. I'll be in A27 this morning. The mornings are usually busy here as there are many flights that leave around this time. It's already very crowded, and it's very hard to hear any announcement from the gate agent boarding us. Unfortunately, I will not requalify for A-list status in 2023, and it'll be very difficult for me to be in the A-20s as consistently as I've been on almost every Southwest flight I took this year. Thankfully for passengers here at Long Beach Airport, we are now able to board at the back of the plane. This should help speed up the boarding process. So here's my first tip. If you notice a line at the front like you saw here, board at the back. By boarding at the back of the plane and Southwest's open seating policy, you can actually get a seat pretty close to the front if you wanted to skip the line. Today, however, I'll be seated in 26A toward the back, a window seat. So as you can see, I'm already settled in, and other passengers are also starting to take advantage of boarding at the back of the plane. That's my tip of the day. For being an all-economy cabin, it feels quite spacious and open in here. And maybe because it's a morning flight, it seems really bright and well lit too. There's the overhead bins, they're nice and big and should fit all of our carry-on bags. The cabin also has the Boeing Sky interior, which means the lights will change color throughout the flight, as you'll see later. The seats have adjustable headrests. They're not too hard, but again, this is a 35-minute flight. There is no lower back support, so bring something if you might need it. This will be helpful, especially, I believe, on longer flights. We're anticipating a fairly full flight. Help us out with overhead bins. Only place one carry-on item per person in the overhead bin spaces. We do ask that every second in all small bags please be placed underneath the seats that are in front of you. Again, it's open seating. Welcome on board. So even on Southwest's newer planes, there are no TV screens at the back seat. Instead, you'll use your personal device to stream some live TV or other entertainment through the Southwest app or Southwest website in your browser. Remember, there's no power outlet or USB available, so make sure your device is fully charged. The legroom is pretty good. There are 32 to 33 inches of pitch, which is the same as on the 737-800, and 1 to 2 inches more than on the 737-700. The width of the seat is 17.8 inches, which is 0.8 inches wider than on either the 737-700 or 800. 
And here is the drink menu. As you can see, soft drinks, juice, water, coffee, tea, and hot chocolate are free. And if you don't have a drink coupon, wine, beer, and spirits range in price between six to seven dollars. As you might have seen, beverages are served for flights longer than 176 miles, so we should be able to get snacks this and beverages. This aircraft is Wi-Fi equipped, so we hope you enjoy our free Wi-Fi and movie options. For more information on accessing free Wi-Fi and our entertainment options, please check the beverage menu in your seat back pocket. As full. So if you see an open space that has enough space for your roller bag, please don't pass up any overhead bin space. Any other overhead bins that are closed, please don't open them. I'm sorry, I'm not closing them for my house. They're going to be full. Any overhead bin space that you do see, go ahead and put your uh, roller bag up there. And it's going to be a relatively full flight this morning. So any open due to the short duration of this flight and a little bit of weather, <laughs> captains have asked us to remain seated for this flight. <coughs> Unfortunately, we will not have the service for this flight, and we do apologize. We hope we can make it up to, on your next Southwest flight. Service over to Las Vegas. We do have 35 minutes once we are airborne. Current weather on the field over there. Winds are out of the west, 3 miles an hour. Good visibility. Partly cloudy skies. Temperature is 37 degrees. Well, as she mentioned earlier, uh, short flight. We are expecting a little bit of turbulence crossing over over there, so uh, we have asked the flight attendants to remain seated for the entire flight. Sorry for the inconvenience there, but uh, if you do need to get up and use the restroom, uh, now will be the time to do so because the uh, pass the seatbelt sign probably will not be off either. So uh, thanks for your patience and cooperation on that. Should be on the way in just a few minutes. If we have any changes from that, we'll keep you advised once again. Welcome aboard. Thank you very much. June Southwest Airlines today. We're pushing back about five minutes behind schedule. No big deal though. about to take off and it's a beautiful morning so enjoy the sights and sounds of our takeoff
So as I said earlier, you're able to access different entertainment options signing into the Southwest web portal. You can check out the moving map and see where you are in the journey. I also like that you get some free live TV after you click on that banner. As you can see, we have quite a few channels, not as many as on other airlines that I've flown in, but it's still a pretty decent lineup. I'll usually be watching ESPN during the flights. If you choose not to watch TV, you can always look out the window at the desert landscape. I find this landscape to actually be pretty nice. And I think this is usually because I fly into Vegas at night and I never get to see this desert landscape. Thank you so much for choosing Southwest Airlines for your early morning travel needs. Welcome into Las Vegas. Let's wrap up my final trip report for 2022. First, mornings are always busy in Long Beach, so be prepared. However, it's not a big airport, so it shouldn't be too busy. Second, I like boarding at the back of the plane, especially if a long line forms at the front. You might even get a seat up front anyway. Third, it's unfortunate but understandable, no beverages or snacks were served. I have plenty of Southwest trip reports where you can see those snacks and beverages. The crews have lately been very funny and very nice and even sang to us. However, they didn't do any of that on this flight, which is okay. Overall, nothing fancy, but we do get into Vegas more or less on time, which is what we all want if we're going to Vegas. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this final flight of 2022 on Southwest. Welcome to Las Vegas, Nevada, my second home. It's a beautiful day and it'll be a fairly beautiful weekend, although a bit cold here in Vegas for December. I'm here to celebrate my birthday with my family here, and it's always going to be a fun time. Thanks for joining me on Southwest Airlines 3084 from Long Beach to Las Vegas. We'll see you next time.